It's a partnership that's taken UW computer engineering professor Matt Tolentino in an unlikely direction. It started when he met with Tacoma's fire chief about some research they'd done that might help first responders. I said, what keeps you up at night? Before he knew it, Dr. Tolentino was shifting gears. Uh, the chief said, you know, this is what keeps me up at night. I worry about firefighters dying um, um, when we're responding to, to structural fires. And of course I said, I'm sure we can fix that. It's called a Mayday scenario. Firefighters go into a building to help others, but become injured or disoriented and then have to be rescued. It's led to deaths in the fire service for years. And I started recruiting students to, uh, to, um, to help me, right, to, uh, to start building these things, building these devices and then testing them. And I failed completely for the first year. He says the answer was finally found in radio waves and a system they named Firefly. We tried kind of all the commodity um, radio frequency transceivers um, and finally arrived at um, a, a specific technology called ultra wideband. They designed a video game like interface to track the whereabouts of crews as they move around the fire. And the red dots in here are the people, are the firefighters uh, wearing the tags. Alex Boyle is one of the students that helped put it together. Now he's a research assistant who says this has changed how he sees his future. Uh, working on something like this is actually kind of a dream in the back of my mind. Doing something, working for one or two people, doing my own thing, get to do make my own decisions about design of the project. They've tested the system with the Tacoma Fire Department and did a presentation last year at a national conference. You know, one of the guys that, that came up afterwards said, you know, um, he just stopped me and he said, you know, I really appreciate you doing this. He said, you're going to save lives. The plan now is to take it from the laboratory testing phase to using it here on fire trucks as they head out to working fires. They'll have it ready to go in the next few months. In Tacoma, Amy Marino, King 5 News.